back with Yogis on the Road. We're in Naples and uh, we just had an episode uh, with uh, Christina. Uh, and we did it in Italian for our Italian audience and her students uh, from Palermo. Mm -hmm. So now we're back and we're going to do this in English. Mm -hmm. And uh, welcome, guys. Welcome, Christina. Welcome, Alexis. Hello, guys. Yeah, Hello. Hi, Christina. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for being here. Yeah. Thank this is you amazing. to invite me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. it's awesome to have you. We had an amazing conversation uh, just uh, yeah a few minutes ago. So let's do exactly the same thing in English. Yes, word by I word. I have to remember <laughs> everything, but I hope to to tell the sense the same things or um, different. I mean, you know, it's whatever uh, we you don't like know. to say. Exactly. So, <laughs> who wants to have to listen both Italian and English one too? <laughs> so let's okay. do that. So, yeah, basically we started uh, by saying like how your uh, yoga uh, path started mm -hmm. and your story is very interesting. So, yeah, let's, yes. let's have it. Well, uh, I started to practice yoga more than 10 years ago um, because I have a, a bad disease in my spine. I can't walk for three months. So my doctor told tell me uh, you have to choose for some gym for a uh, postural gym or you have, you could do uh, maybe yoga. I take some minutes to think about it and <laughs> choose yoga because it's more exotic name. I don't know <laughs> what is about it and uh, I know that is something oriental things and uh, I said well I will try. I found the school with all people so strange because it's very Indian place <laughs> with people uh, with uh, dress like Indian and I am uh, a manager with the uh, dress like a manager with the heel 13 <laughs> heel so <laughs> you can imagine nice. arriving yeah. there yeah. <laughs> uh, with all the brands in my body <laughs> dress with all brands <laughs> so, you're like corporate manager yes. in career <laughs> arrived there and no one look at me, who's she? <laughs> well, I start and after a week, uh, I can feel the benefits because I stopped the back pain with my back pain and I can work better. And uh, I'm used to have a headache from 5 o'clock in p.m. Wow. for all the day, each day. So at uh, 30 years old, it's very... Uh, tragic for me because I can do nothing after that hour and uh, with the headache so um, the headache completely disappeared and uh, I trust in this practice I don't know how it really works but uh, we do something into the mat with the posture with your body and my body seems the body of a an old woman, not a 13, 30 years old <laughs> woman, so it's very, it's very strange. And, um, and then I proceed with trust and do everything and something uh, happens because I change not only with the body, but I change my mind, I change uh, the way I look at the people, I be my behavior with all each people in workplace, in to the family, with the relationship with people and all the people change their behavior with me. So it's, uh, something strange happens. I At the beginning I did, didn't recognize that it's due to the yoga. It's due because I have the pain and so I feel better and everything could change. But in reality I changed the way I see the world outside. So I will be happy. I, I was happy. Some people are happy with me. So everything's changed. During the year I practice, uh, sometimes stopped, sometimes continues. But uh, mm, three years ago something's changed dramatically, maybe, or fortunately, I, don't, I can understand, but maybe fortunately changed my life and I decided to stop to work with the big company and change my way of life. Uh, I will. I was more dedicated with family, with my daughter, with my parents. Uh, I stay more at home because I used to travel a lot. So what happened? Uh, uh, I faced what's called a burnout. Do you know what burnout. it is? Burnout. Yeah. Yeah. So done. Yes, because um, I work in a company used to. Uh, shut to the people to their um, 
limit yes to their uh, dependence to the people yeah. and uh, make them fear to work in so make them create inside them the fear to lose their work so they can stay more attached to the company and I can't do that I'm used to improve the the skills of people because I always teach people to improve their themselves and uh, trying to understand which is the personal skills and make them growing and inside this company I can't do that so uh, I decide to go out and uh, yoga one yeah. uh, yes <laughs> but uh, yes I don't I don't know if it's, it was yoga do something with this decision but uh, I remember the last uh, uh, dialogue with my general manager and he asked me if you have if you could have uh, uh, if you could decide to do something different in your work what you want to do and uh, I need more time I ask I answer uh, I need more time to dedicate to yoga to my yoga mm -hmm. session I don't know why I did, did <laughs> said that. He looked at me, are you crazy? What are you saying? Yeah, from maybe from his point of view, it's yes. like, why would you do that? You know? Yeah, because uh, because in my mind that happens that if I can do more yoga during the day, I could be more powerful for yeah. people and I could improve my productivity. This is my fault, but he can understand that. Maybe look at me, you're crazy. <laughs> but that's okay, it's past. And... Um, I start practicing each day yoga for, by myself and people ask me to teach them. So friends of mine ask me to teach them and I start with Atta Yoga. I started with Atta Yoga when for my best friend asked me to come with her into a workshop of Ashtanga. Oh yes, Ashtanga, I know what is Ashtanga. Oh, okay, okay, come with me. Well, for me Ashtanga is a Yoga Sutra di Patanjali. It's only the written hate limbs. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> uh, I think she speaks about the same things, uh, but it's Ashtanga with the Vinyasa inside and uh, I'm used to practice only Atta and when I come to my side and inside the worship that I had to pay very <laughs> much yeah. and uh, with uh, a, a big teacher like uh, Gabriele Severini, um, I feel so scared because I understand that I can I, I didn't understand what I really I have to do. So he he teach me the first series. It was one year and a half ago, and uh, then uh, I goes out from the first class of Ashtanga with so um, hungry inside that I can shout <laughs> and uh, saying this is not yoga. This is gym. <laughs> And after that, uh, I understand that something inside goes out. That uh, maybe I face my ego because uh, I understand that uh, I'm not perfect, and uh, it's not matter. And but for me, it's important. And uh, this is a problem, so I have something to solve. It always makes you face the thing that you need to face. Yes. Even uh, if you try to like keep yes. it on the side, you know, it's always yeah. boom. Very, very crudely. Right away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a stone. I face my <laughs> with the stone. With oh, welcome stone. to Ashtanga. Boom. <laughs> yes, in this way. Exactly in this way. And they understand that it's not only gym. Uh, the gym used to um, to make to make a more um, more deep work in your body. So in your soul and your uh, personality. So it's the way to improve uh, and solve your knots inside uh, in a faster way than the other, according to me, obviously, the other styles of yoga. So this is uh, the things that uh, excite me because I understand that inside these simple things that you have to do each day, every day, the same things, each day nothing is the same. And inside of that, you can realize your pratyahara. So in inner, in inner results, your yeah. your introspection, introspection, yes, uh, focusing, meditation. Yeah, uh, each limbs, eight limbs, you can realize all your, in that one practice. All in one practice. Mm -hmm. 
without reading nothing because I I experience that without reading. I prefer to experience everything in the practice. Yeah. In the practice, yeah. I refuse to take book before I was uh, very comfortable with the practice because I don't want that my mind was yeah, influences, uh, influences your by, experience. Yeah. It's interesting because I was saying even earlier, uh, um, when we were talking earlier, it's mm-hmm. like, it feels like every question we ask Manju these days, the answer is always very simple. And it always brings back to one answer only, which is just keep on practicing. Yeah. yeah. So basically, then you can eventually experience and discover everything with time and patience. Yeah. Just keep on going you know yeah because each one of us has a different time to discover what what, what is inside of yourself and uh, what is inside of yourself different from mine inside yeah uh, so each one has a, a personal trip your trip is different from mine yeah so if um, I tell you what you have to feel and to uh, experience I broke, I, I stopped your trip because uh, I influenced your mind mm. and you expect to realize something that maybe could, can't realize for you. Uh, you have to realize different things. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. And then you may miss what you need to experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because uh, you can go from H to B, H to B in uh, many different ways, a straight line curved line, yeah. some <laughs> analytic line, yeah. but it's your way to go. Yeah, exactly. And you can see different things because you need to see different things. Yeah, I sometimes tend to say it's like the, the shortest distance between two points, it's not always a straight line. Yes, you know? yes, yes, I know. Because it's everybody has its own. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's, that's good. That's Although okay. it's interesting that I find that the more people that we explore with this podcast project, the more people I discover have a really serious physical health problem and then they come to yoga. Yeah. It's like there's some sort of devastating wake up call that needs to happen in order for people to think, oh my gosh, I have to become serious about my practice. And then the yoga is the only thing that works. Yeah. Yeah. So even though the paths are different and people go in many different directions, there's also the same yeah. like path a similarity in the beginning in underneath point. us all. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it it's some magic but simple. Yeah. Things. It's like a, absolutely like the the inner movement that people have to do each people for yeah. in every part of the world yeah. that all people make all people uh, similar the same yes because uh, yes it's born in the place of the world that we can call india but uh, mm-hmm. india is not a really a, a geographical location yeah india. right now it's like a location maybe in your heart or yeah. you know in your <laughs> mind or, yeah you know, yeah what that ends up meaning for yeah. each of us you know? maybe today Manju gives us the um, the the main indication to recognize which where is India India is a simplicity India is a hum- humility India is a play with yourself uh, <laughs> be happy don't borrow yeah so there are a lot of things uh, that uh, he gives us to understand where is it, where India is yeah i mean i i'm loving the fact that like the workshop like his answers are so simple you know yeah. sometimes it's just just breathe or you know yeah <laughs> just practice what i have to do breathe <laughs> yeah or do you do you meditate it's like no <laughs> no yeah because <laughs> the practice itself you. becomes like a yes. meditation like yeah. it brings everything to the simplest shortest answer yeah yeah because so, we are yeah. bhakti material made of some concrete material things we have to work with this with the simple things and True. the other kosha feels the yeah the, the different like the evolution she, she, yeah. the they, it will happens yeah it will happens but uh, don't borrow that tomorrow don't think about it yeah yeah that's the thing no it's, pretty 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> too many reiki we do. <laughs> <laughs> I love that then you get into like yoga codes, like, you know, language. And it's like, yeah, yeah too many reiki. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So basically, you start Ashtanga, you start practicing Ashtanga, you fall in love with Ashtanga. And people that uh, I teach too, they see me. Your students start saying, yes. oh, what's going on, Christina? Yes. And they follow you. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. They start practicing. A lot of them was very curious about my changing because I changed my body. It's incredible. Ashtanga completely changed your body, and uh, also my the way of uh, I am teaching because I I changed the way I'm teaching. Mm, I was more conscious. I don't know what what happens, but it happens. And um, they asked me to teach them the my my practice. So we start with the first series, and then uh, I decide to attend the teacher training because I need something mm. more structured for me for my practice. Because I used to practice by myself. There aren't there isn't a, a good teacher for me in um, Palermo that I can follow so I need uh, some <laughs> some so you go to tools. workshops all yes, around yes I go to the workshop all around maybe I take one week and uh, Shala and Milan to my friends so it's a uh, it's very difficult for me. So I used to practice by myself. I need first for myself. And then people ask me to teach them. So I need something more uh, structured to teach them. Then I discovered that uh, my good sense, good point of view, it's the right one. So <laughs> don't hurt Important. your student. Yes. Yeah. Don't <laughs> hurt your students is the only uh, rules that you have yeah. to follow. <laughs> so, sure. Yes, uh, you were the uh, were you the first teacher in Palermo? Mm, no, there are other teachers inside Palermo, but I am I discovered that one of the of these uh, said right to teach Ashtanga, but uh, she don't know the first series, so hmm. I don't understand. So another, basically, you are. <laughs> <laughs> but the other one, the the other, there is another one, but uh, I don't know. It's another part of the city, but we are two maybe. Two or three, no more. That uh, and is not so known. Like uh, yeah. what's it style. like for you? What's, huh? What is it like for you to be one of the very few teachers in Palermo? Uh, it's a good, it's a big responsibility. Y yeah. yeah, because um, because uh, you have to teach the right things. Uh, people want to go outside when you start learning Ashtanga and you improve your practice and maybe you could find students uh, very very athletic and very ready to grow faster you have to be prepared for them to help them and so if you yeah. if you can face the practice uh, in a good way you can transmit them the right way to move into the space that is uh, like uh, you have to feel before teaching yeah and uh, this is but I hope to grow a lot because uh, I love that. Uh, it's uh, maybe the passion if you, that you put inside the things. Yeah, that's everything. Totally, exactly. And, uh, yoga, you don't have to force it. You have, yoga, yeah. it happens. So it's the biggest lesson, in my opinion, I, to learn. You know, yes, it's just I let have it to, happen. To leave everything and let them let it happens. Um, yeah, you were talking about like the setup in your yoga studio in Palermo and I, I liked it very much because you have different teachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside the Yogandi here in Palermo, we are a different teacher. I teach Ashtanga Nata and Liliana teaches Yin Yoga. Liliana is a, she's a, my students also. She started like my students. So and then she become a teacher so for me so i'm proud cool. of her <laughs> and then we have christine she's a francis from french and um, she's teach kundalini roberto agro yoga is an agro yoga teacher yes. and uh, we have uh, another christina uh, she will teach and she sometimes she teach uh, instead of me when i outside but I hope she improved teaching inside our center. 
and uh, we have Germana with Vinyasa Flo and the owner, the big one, the, the cheap, <laughs> she's a Wendy and uh, she's a Vinyasa Flo teacher. She comes from Holland, from Amsterdam and created uh, the, the studio. So, so she came from Amsterdam and she moved to Palermo? Yes, for love, obviously. Ah, totally, <laughs> totally. Uh, yeah. She yeah. fell in love with the Sicilian man. Yes, <laughs> cool. yes. And then, so in May she asked me to help her to manage the studio. Wow. And uh, we start uh, in two and then we grow, we grow, we go because we think about what we can improve inside the studio, which kind of, uh, which style of yoga we can improve because each style could be uh, complementary, each other can help each other and uh, usually I use uh, the yin yoga for people who are too many stiff, too stiff, stiff yeah. too many stiff and, uh, and it's useful for them. Uh, maybe it's useful vinyasa flow for me to move more fluid into the space. So we it's cool. It's like a, it's like a yoga school. It's yeah, yoga. It's from, yeah. Each one it's yoga. Uh, it's each one is yoga, uh, and uh, people okay. can come to choose what fits them. Yeah, at their different stage of their road. They can, yes, yeah. they can. Uh, they can feel uh, to. One day you can feel to practice ashtanga because you are too tired. You need the yin yoga. What's matter? Yeah, it's okay. You see, I like Sicilian, so we always do things like in a cool way. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I like the setup that you guys have at this school. But maybe I'm because I'm so. <laughs> it's not like a region <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know how they are. How the other Sicilian people? No, I, I'm saying the Sicilians in this room are pretty. Yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, in this room, the Sicilians are oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> cool, I like that. Uh, and uh, you were also mentioning uh, a couple of uh, uh, actually interesting projects that you have uh, for your, uh, let's say, near in your near future. Yes. You were saying uh, the one with the uh, kids or like young yes. adults. That's pretty cool. Yes, I want to create a Nashtanga class for for a young guy, young child, uh, starting every age I hope because if uh, children can focus it's useful hands and hands then, and yeah yeah, yeah hands they, hands. They, they start can, doing Scorpios and like <laughs> yeah. yeah you can teach them the third series immediately yeah <laughs> but, they have but no fear they can can enjoy better in this type of yoga because it's a fluid dynamic is very challenging uh, some strange um, asanas so they can enjoy better than the other yoga and I want to create this uh, class uh, I had two three students uh, from 11 13 uh, years old so I can use them to promote the class that's pretty cool yes yes but it's wonderful because uh, first because I understand that the matter which uh, age you are if your spine uh, is uh, blocked it's locked so I, yeah no matter I, if you're young no, or yeah no no but I think it's cool you like basically start the generation of like young yeah. people you know that then they will grow appreciation right. for yes. yoga and like they're open their mentality and their Yes, you, you don't do that for this uh, intention because you can speak to uh, them about uh, Yoga Sutra or something, yeah. uh, philosophy stuff, but uh, you can manage them with the mat, playing. Yeah, it playing starts as a mat, game. Yeah. The, playing the mat with the first series, uh, I teach you that you can do if you can manage, uh, you remember each asana, you can do by yourself if you want. No matter if them uh, show to their friends, show show to them. You have to yeah. play. Leave totally. them free to do that, like their own uh, baggage, so yeah. they can be with them. And uh, I have to see what's happened today. I want to ask to Manjo and which age you suggest to start Ashtanga, but I know his answer will be any age. Doesn't any matter age. because he started four years old with the first series, so. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, the third B. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Advanced B. Advanced B, yes, <laughs> that's it. So, 
this is. Wow. And then another project, maybe some retreat around the city at the beginning for the, uh, for a tourist that comes in. And uh, I have a Russian colleague who is focused on meditation, also massage, and he's an Stangi too. So we can manage 10 people group nice. to r- around the Sicily. And then from Russia yes. when it's cold. And also he managed the marketing <laughs> stuff because he's a good uh, website Great. <laughs> creator. Important so part. I give them this. Uh, <laughs> this Perfect. Thing. So, and this and after, I don't know. What you got good can... managing skills. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope to do that. I, it's funny to maintain some skills for, yeah. from the past. I mean, you use, have them, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to use that in the new hey, new life. <laughs> it's okay. It's a gift. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah you just gift. let it happen. Yes. You're such yeah. a let it happen. No, I understand the, right. why, why it I was do, there yeah, in the beginning. Why I do the, this yeah. kind of things in the past. <laughs> yeah. It all makes sense. Uh, yeah, eventually, sometimes, right? yeah, sometimes things doesn't make sense, but. Uh, eventually it does. Yes. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, Christina, I'd say thank you for your time. It was thank a, you. a thank pleasure you. to have you. Yeah, really thank cool. you. I was so proud. Yeah, yeah. So excited. Yeah, awesome. this is great. Thank you so thank much. You. It's. I think it's really important to get um, voices from different parts of the world yeah. to see how we're different, but also how we're the same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank well, you. thank you. And yeah, any question, anything, just email us at yogis on the road at uh, gmail.com. Yeah. We'll be back in the US next week and we'll keep on going with uh, the our usuals. episodes with the usuals. <laughs> cool. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thanks.